Hello everybody, welcome back to another Trader Joe's haul. This week I'm only putting out one video because I'm gonna be including the taste test in this one. There were few, very few items that were new, but there was one item that Tim is so ecstatic to try. There's one item that Benson is super excited to try, and then there's one item that I can't wait to try. So it's kind of fun because there's three things here, one for each of us, and I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the taste things in with the haul so they basically like you'll find out right away if we like these items or not as far as my LASIK procedure went double thumbs up I am healing up really well obviously you guys see no more glasses um, never again actually I'm so excited but I am putting out that LASIK video sometime next week so if you want to see it you can pretty much see what I went through the day of and then I talk a little bit about how I feel the next day but as far as this video goes, if you guys are excited to see this haul, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you like new Trader Joe's products, seasonal items, I'm your gal. You can watch me every week. I make sure that you know everything and what to shop for at Trader Joe's. So let's get going on this week's Trader Joe's haul. I went into this week saying to myself, I'm not gonna overdo it, I'm not gonna buy too much, and look what I did. <laughs> I bought a lot, and it's actually not just my fault. Tim and I tag teamed this haul. He bought his own stuff, I bought my own stuff, so you kinda get a taste for what we both like. However, I will say, keep in mind, this is for our family. We have very similar tastes, and um, this is kinda the stuff we eat all the time, but I'll share with you the things that Tim picked up. Starting right here with the garlic Indian style flatbread. So this is something that I picked up like two weeks ago and I said this is probably gonna be a staple and I was so right. And so many of you guys recommended heating this up in the toaster and let me just tell ya, you are spot on as usual. I love you guys for that. You always give me the best advice and I truly feel like you're all my friends. So thank you for that. So I just heat this up for a little bit. I spread it on some of the Mediterranean hummus and it is so such a game changer. This is the best bread. It's so soft. The garlic flavor is like super strong. So if you like that stuff, I'm telling you, grab it. You'll never go back. Now to a seasonal product that's one of my favorites for the summer. This is a lemony arugula basil salad kit. It has arugula, carrots, almonds, parmesan, and a basil lemon vinaigrette. This is a super fresh salad. If you like arugula, I highly recommend checking this salad out if you didn't get to try it last year. One of the things I love about this salad is it's super light, so you can literally put it on anything. I love topping this on a pizza. It just freshens it up. It makes it super yummy. You're adding veggies. You can also toss it in with a pasta or a pasta salad. So good and versatile and highly recommend picking this up. It's here for a limited time. If you wanna try it, grab it now. Another seasonal product that just tells me it's summertime at Trader Joe's is the sweet corn burrata and basil ravioli. This stuff is such a good ravioli for the summer. Every time I buy this, I'm like, yep, summer's here. So I grabbed two packages because we're a family of three and definitely one does not fill us up. We typically use this as a meal. However, you could totally use it as a side. You can eat it either warm or you can let it kind of cool down after you cook it. Um, it's good both ways, honestly. Typically, we'll do like a pesto because that's my son's favorite is a pesto sauce, but I think you could do a marinara or just like plain olive oil with a little Parmesan would be really delicious as well. Um, I also like chopping, dicing up little tomatoes and topping it with tomato just to give it a little fresh pop of color. Um, ooh, even the bruschetta that Trader Joe's sells, the fresh bruschetta would probably be so good on top of this. Darn it, I'll have to buy that next week. So um, again, these two items, seasonal, grab them while they're here and while they last. Tim picked up some sharp cheddar, or just a staple in the house. I grabbed some celery. Tim grabbed two packages of the soft strawberry licorice because we took a break from it last week. So he's like, I gotta make up for it. So you grab two of those. Um, got the vegetable radiatory. We also got a bean and cheese for Benson. He's back on this bean and cheese kick and it's such an easy meal. You just heat it up for a minute and a half and you're good to go. Got some tomatoes. And let's go into Tim's territory here. He bought a lot of the frozen, actually he bought all the frozen stuff for this week. He got the sweet potato fries. These are so good and especially if you have an air fryer, game changer. 
if you haven't gotten an air fryer yet, just go get one or try a friend's out before you get one because it is a splurge, but it changes your life for the better, especially if you are impatient like I am and you want your food to cook in half the time that it takes in the oven. The air fryer is the way to go. Uh, Tim obviously got pretzels. He actually got two bags. I just left one in the freezer. Um, and he also picked up a mac and cheese for Benson. And I think he probably got this one for himself because it's hatch chili. So Benson obviously wouldn't like that. But yeah, these are the frozen items that Tim grabbed for himself and for our child. Now to a brand new, really awesome product that I never saw coming from Trader Joe's, the 100% linen apron. So it is a large front pocket towel loop, um, length from shoulder to hem, one size fits most. And I'm actually gonna insert a little photo or like maybe a video of Tim trying it on because he's six foot two, so he can give you a good idea of how this fits most body types. Since I'm 5'3", it's like not a shocker, it's gonna fit me just fine. But let me show you the back here. So this is the style of apron it is. I have never seen this style of apron, but apparently this is like an old school um, style. I was talking to one of my coworkers and she was telling me that she remembers these from when she was younger and I think she said her grandmother had them and it's really just like a, a different style than I've seen. But you can see right here, it's showing you kind of the design and it crisscrosses in the back so you just pull it over your head. It doesn't have a tie like traditional or at least the ones I'm used to using. Um, and this is what it looks like. So. One thing I will say, this is super boring. This reminds me of um, like the Amish, like the type of clothing the Amish wears, especially because it's just like a lackluster brown color. Um, so I was thinking about DIYing it and making like a really fun project and making it really colorful. If you guys wanna see uh, me do that, let me know in the comments and I will totally share with you how I jazz this up. Uh, but yeah, so this is exciting. It's a little pricey though. So let me know in the comments if you feel like an apron is worth $25 or not. Moving on to some dips. So I got the Mediterranean hummus. This is our, you know, our go-to always. The vegan caramelized onion dip. So many of you guys thought this was like either really good or kind of too sweet for you. Personally, I have been putting this on my sandwiches like every single day. I love this stuff for sandwiches. I'm not such a fan of using it as an actual like dip on my chips because it is sweet, but it totally makes um, the flavor really enhanced with anything you're adding it to like a sandwich. So I got that. Another great vegan dip is the garlic spread. This is just one of those items that we have in our house at all times. This is another great one for sandwiches, pizzas. Um, you can use it as a dip if you want. We like to put it in pasta. Like It's super versatile, so you can really use it with anything, especially if you like garlic. It's like legit just like chunks of, or, or like diced up garlic with a couple other ingredients. But if you want some good vegan dips, these are both really great. I also got, whoops, I also got the coconut and almond creamer. This is our staple we buy two a week. I always show that as well. And then what fell back here is something Tim picked up. So at my store we were out of croutons and Tim really loves Trader Joe's croutons. So he grabbed these instead to use and it's a really good makeshift crouton because it's literally just like baked cheese. These are also a keto snack. So if you're keto, there you go. Uh, grabbed our two favorite flavors of kombucha, strawberry lemonade, and guava. And then, Trader Joe's came out with a brand new sparkling water. Well, it's not really new. It's a plain water, but it's in cans now. Before this, Trader Joe's always had plain sparkling, but it was in bottles, plastic bottles. So if you're not a fan of plastic bottles, then this might be a good option for you. Um, and yeah, perfect timing for the summer. I like having cans because I can put them in koozies and just like you know hang out and they stay cold. I also grabbed two beers this week. This is a brand new one to me. Flying Dog Pool Hopping Deck Beer. It's a hazy summer ale. 5.4 percent. So what really drew my attention is it's called pool hopping and it says it's a deck beer. So you're just supposed to be sitting on the pool deck sipping on the beer and um, I'm not usually an ale person but I feel like if they're marketing this toward being like a hot day you're out by the pool it's going to be on the lighter 
side and that's typically what I go for so I thought this would be a fun one to try this one is a tried and true Tim and I have tried this before the Buena Vesa salt and lime lager by stone and this is such a good beer so I saw it back on the shelf and I'm like we got to get it and Tim's like do we really need two packs of beer and I'm like hey it's Mother's Day weekend, okay? So I grabbed, um, we grabbed both of these basically just to have to sip on over the weekend. So I grabbed some organic asparagus. I grabbed this because it looked really fresh and just really good. So I just, I love adding asparagus to pasta or just eating it on the side with some rice. I just love asparagus so much. I also grabbed some limes because at Cinco de Mayo, we're gonna be making margaritas. We're making little tacos as well, so I had to get a bag of the limes and also a bag of avocados. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but we all know what these are for. And also, I got some more of these tomatoes. I know, it's shocking because I just <laughs> can't live without these now. I used to very much so not like the small tomatoes, but ever since that TikTok pasta recipe came out I've been kind of like just really getting into it so um, yeah got more of these now to something new the spring gummies I warned you last week that there were more gummies coming and here they are there's I think there's more even more than this but these are the spring gummies a soft and chewy gummy candy brand new this year these were not out last year and they look like little butterflies and flowers and bees so cute um, very spring colors and then here's the back for you to see the nutrition facts and the ingredients. Yes, these are vegetarian, which is amazing. I can't wait to try, and right now we're gonna actually try them and let you know how they taste. Spring gummies, these are so fun. These are chewy gummy candies, vegetarian. They have bumblebees, birds, daisies, tulips, and butterflies in here. Ooh, they smell really good. Ooh, yeah they do. Mm. Wow. Oh, they're so soft. They're so soft. They're not oh chewy like gosh. last week. Give me those. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the green. You're going to have three. It, I'm all about these mm. right now. They're super tasty. I, I really like these. I'm trying every color. I don't know if they're different flavors. Mm. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think they are, yeah. But oh my mm. gosh, these are so good. They are. Oh my goodness, these are dangerous. What do you think, babe? Good job. Thumbs, Thumbs up. up. Okay. Yeah, I mean, best gummies I think Trader Joe's has, to be honest. Really? Which other ones? I like those um, sour Scandinavian ones. Oh, those are pretty good. But I don't know. These I are think, good, though. I think those ones might be better. Well, the family loves the gummies. Trader Joe's hit it out of the park once again. Moving on to my absolute favorite tequila. So I haven't tried the Casamigos, which I've heard so many people love that um, tequila. So I can't speak on that one. But as far as this one goes, this is my favorite tequila. I've been drinking this for, I don't know, seven, eight years now. This is like my favorite go-to brand. Um, Milagro Silver, it's just really easy to drink. It doesn't have that like really sharp taste to it. Um, it goes down smooth and it makes the best margaritas. So I grabbed this and look what is back. Oh my gosh, I brought these home last night and Tim almost, he was like, what is going on? <laughs> he was so excited. So if you don't know, my husband Tim absolutely loves these sparkling watermelon juices. And it seems that Trader Joe's is keeping the sparkling strawberry juice year round, but this one is a special little treat during the summer. And so I had to grab two. And of course, every time, that I work I'm probably gonna grab two each and every time because Tim wants the entire outside fridge filled with the watermelon sparkling juice so um, yes this is a good starting point but if you guys haven't tried this this is amazing it only has watermelon juice and sparkling water there's nothing else added to it so it's fantastic the flavor is just really good and it's super refreshing during the summer I also grabbed some organic black beans. I had a big pack from Costco, but I got a letter in the mail saying that they recalled all of the black beans. So if you guys are Costco members and you also buy the organic black beans from Costco, just be aware of that. They are taking back any um, of the packages that you purchased. So luckily we didn't even open it yet and we're able to return it no problem. So I'm just gonna be buying them from Trader Joe's for a while um, because right now Costco hasn't re, uh, 
I guess they haven't restocked their supply of beans. So just a little warning there. Um, also grabbed some flour tortillas. So these are the truly handmade ones. I buy these very occasionally because they go bad very fast. I'm talking like in two days. I bought these last night. They still like they look like they're in good condition, which is great because I'm going to be using them today for Cinco de Mayo. We're making little tacos. Um, but these are fantastic. As long as you eat them quickly, they're very, very fresh. So I think if you refrigerate them, um, they'll probably last a little longer, but you just won't get that soft, like handmade texture that these really taste like. So if you haven't tried these, highly recommend trying them at least once and seeing if you like them. Now to a product that tastes him was just so excited for. He wanted to open these last night when I got home from work. These are the crispy jalapeno pieces. They look like they're in the same type of container that the um, crispy onions are during the holidays, like during Thanksgiving. Um, here's the back for the nutrition facts. One tablespoon is a serving size at 40 calories. So they are like deep fried. So obviously they're gonna be a little bit higher in calories. And then as you guys can see, here are the rest of the nutrition facts. And here is the ingredient list as well. So jalapeno peppers are the first ingredient. That's, that's a great sign, uh, but really excited to try this. And um, speaking of trying it, we're gonna go ahead and let you know how these taste. Crispy jalapeno pieces, Tim. Are you so ready for that's this? That's my jam. I got, I got giddy when she brought these home. <laughs> Now, Vincent, I don't know if you want to try these. These might be a little spicy for you, bud. Yeah, I'm just looking what will be looked like. Are they spicy? Yeah, I got a spicy one. Try you it. You did? Ooh, ooh, yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, that's a little try bit a warm. These are really good, though. <coughs> okay, now what you didn't see <clears throat> is I have, like, a coughing fit off camera. Um, so I had to get some water. It's really good flavor super crunchy yeah. they're very reminiscent of the crispy onions during thanksgiving that hat same crunch kind of same texture as that uh flavor delicious i just was not my throat wasn't prepared i kind of got some like <laughs> in my throat so it was a little intense but i i give it two thumbs up i think they're delicious i i absolutely <laughs> love them yeah um, you would. they're just like jalapeno chips they just taste like chips um, and, uh, they're very fluffy, flaky, uh, they, I kind of, I know what you, I know why you were coughing. I don't think they're like overly spicy. Yeah, I just no, think that they hit you in the back of the throat yeah. and you just eat them like chips. Yeah, they're not overly spicy at all. Yeah. They de definitely have a kick and if you're sensitive to spice, I would say stay away, but I, I like spicy and I think that was good. Thumbs up, I love it. Thumbs up. I also picked up some organic mayonnaise. So we've been going through this like crazy because Benson loves having sandwiches for lunch and he's pretty much the only one in the house that eats the majority of the mayonnaise. I'm not gonna say Tim and I don't eat it because we definitely do, but um, I just really wish Trader Joe's would bring back the vegan mayo. That was my favorite. Um, it just tasted good and I just really liked it. So I'm sad they still haven't brought it back. For now, we're just continuing to purchase this one. I think they have a really good vegan mayo at Target, so I'll have to check that out next time, but it's just really convenient for me to get everything at Trader Joe's since I'm there all the time and and I shop for you know my family at Trader Joe's the majority. So that's why um, I still pick this one up and Benson likes it, so it's a win-win. I also got some mild pico de gallo salsa. This is for our tacos and just for like chips and salsa. I love pico de gallo because it's super chunky and I'm all about the tomatoes. This one is really good, but I will say um, it is, it's like mild, it just doesn't have any spice at all. So Benson can eat this, um, no problem. There's, It's not hot at all. So if you want to add any spice to it, um, sometimes Tim and I will chop up some jalapenos and just throw them in here and make it spicier for us so we can enjoy it. But this is a really good um, pico if you just wanna like add some tomato with um, onions and stuff into any type of food that you're eating. Also grabbed just the regular sourdough sandwich bread that we have every week. And then a brand new cheese came in, and this is what I'm so excited to try, the Green Goddess Gouda. This is a pasteurized processed Gouda cheese with zesty parsley, basil, and garlic. It looks great. It's really pretty, actually. I love this. 
and I'm just so excited to try this cheese. I think it's gonna be really tasty. So it does have microbial enzymes, which is fantastic. That means I can have it. Um, no animal rennet in this one. And yeah, this is just a really, like, I'm just so excited. So let's check out how this cheese tastes. So we're trying the Green Goddess Gouda. You guys ready to give this a little taster? Yeah, looks interesting, grainy. There's a lot going on there. A lot mm. going on. I was gonna say, it's very flavorful. It tastes like a pasta sauce. Mm. It kind of does. Right? Oh mm. yeah, like it's very herbsy. So, do you like it? Mm-hmm. You do? What does it taste uh, like to you? Um, it tastes like a pasta sauce I had at we ordered. Oh, oh from the restaurant? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it kind of does have a little bit of a pesto-y, you know, flavor. Yeah, it must be that, that uh, basil and garlic is what he's picking yeah. up. It's a great ballad, Vincent. I know, seriously. Good job. Um, yeah, I mean, all said and done, if you don't like a lot of flavor in your cheese or you want to taste more of the cheese, this is not for you. This definitely has, like, way more yeah. of an herbsy flavor. I think actually it would be really good to mix in with pasta or, like, grate it on top of something to give it, like, a really good fresh taste. Um... I think it's good. I like it. There's one last new product in this haul, and this is the Select Harvest Curated Coffee. This one is a 50-50 blend of Peaberry Columbia Light Roast and Peaberry Tanzania Medium Roast. So excited to try this. Once again, it's a whole bean coffee. Um, Trader Joe's will grind it for you if you don't have a grinder. I do, so I freshly grind my coffee every day. So I can't wait to try this one. Right now I'm drinking the Gorilla Coffee I showed in previous hauls, and I really like that. It's definitely not as dark as I was expecting it to be and it has a slightly fruity flavor So I'm really curious to see how this one's gonna taste as well. That's it. That's the haul We have a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed it Well, I think I'm ready to make a margarita and I think that's what I'm gonna do as soon as I turn the camera off Because it's Cinco de Mayo today. I hope you all had a great Cinco de Mayo and for all you mothers out there Happy Mother's Day. I am so excited to celebrate with my family, my mom and my mother-in-law on Mother's Day. So I hope you guys um, enjoy it as well. Treat your moms, everybody. Make sure you give them a call and or your wife or anybody in your life that's a mom, make sure you wish them well. It's a tough job, but you know, it's fun and rewarding also. So I hope you all have a great Mother's Day. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.